over there, and that raises it up. Watch this. What are you doing? I'm just filling this up with some water right till there's that little bulge. Whoa, it's a little over. Let me get some bubbles out. Okay, so let's try it. Whoa, okay. Push it down there. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. Wow, how'd you do that? Oh, well, it's air pressure that, that's holding both things together. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> now watch what happens when I put this comb near the stream of water. Did you see it move? Yeah. 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 I actually charged the comb by putting it in my hair and rubbing my hair and put it near here and it pulled on the stream of water. Let's come over here and try some experiments and see why that works that way. Come right around this side, please. Yeah, come right around. Now get your comb. Ready? Oh, comb, 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 comb. Yeah, so we charge up the comb. Yeah, that's it. Get it put charge on that and then bring your comb over near the little bits of tissue paper and see what happens. Oh, look, lift it up, <laughs> lift up, there, look, you lifted it right up. Whoa, it's, it's, right, it, it's static. Isn't that static? And this is static electricity and when you put it through your hair, you're giving what is called a negative charge. You're charging the comb with static electricity. Now when you put it near, it, it uh, lifts up the little pieces, see? There's another way of setting up a charge, and this is the way we do it. What we do is we take a balloon and we rub the balloon on here, just like this. Rub this line here on this wool sock. That's what we call getting a static electricity charge. Then you put it over near the little, oh, and you have a jumper. Would you like to try that? Let's see how that goes. Whoa, look at that. What's this? Oh, that. <laughs> Isn't that something? So hanging from a balloon. So we're going to try another experiment here, and we're going to make a ping pong ball move without even touching it. Watch how we do it. We put the ping pong ball out here, we put the balloon near it, and see. So we're going to ask you to take the balloon, Rub it in your hair. Rub hard, hard, uh, that's it. And put it near and watch what happens. Ooh, look at that. We made the ping pong ball move without even touching it. Now, as we take a balloon, then we put it near the outside and watch what happens. Ooh, did you see it go around? Now try that. So when you rub the balloon, it's a static electricity charge. And then the paper is attracted to the balloon once you've charged it. Doesn't that work well? Yeah, when you charge it up that way. Rub, rub, rub. Rubbing and rubbing. Oh, that's it. Now, watch what happens when we put these two balloons together. We hold them up this way and watch what happens. Whoop. Instead of coming together, they... Separate. Yeah, they go apart. So we got the same charge on both of them, and that's why they move apart. So now we're going to see what happens when we have a really big static electricity charge. Ready? Oh! Hi, this is my magic bottle, and I want to see how many bubbles you can blow in it. So just blow. As hard as you can. What? <laughs> what? What happened? When you blow air into the bottle, it's putting air in, like, and the water needs somewhere to go, so it comes back out the straw. Mm. There's a creature called a tsunami toad, and when it catches its food, it acts just like a mini vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. Now, we could actually do something like that. How would you like to suck bugs? No. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you. <laughs> what you need is Dr. Zed's super bug sucker. Let's suck bugs. Got him. Got him. Not a bad catch for a day. Are you gonna eat him? I'm not gonna eat him. I ain't gonna eat him. Why don't we let him go before they die? Yeah. And the cup's small, so it expands inside the cup. Let's see if you can get two. It's impossible. <laughs> impossible, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You know, with this quarter, I know a way to tell a boy from a girl. Hmm. What do you think of that? Crazy. Oh, Easy. well, let me just show you how we do it. Take the quarter, we put it down on the ground like this, and then we bend over so that our hands are just right in the quarter, on either side of the quarter here. Then, up, put your hands behind your back, and then bend over and try and get your nose. Oh, no, I couldn't do it. Now, bring your hands so that they're just at the end of the coin here, and your knees right, and elbows right against the knees there. Now, back up. Hands behind your back, bend over. Oh, you went over just like me. You must be a boy. 